What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we've got some brand spanking new Destiny 2 news courtesy of the Bungie weekly update that has just gone live revealing official information and so let's get started. Now first things first, what's been going on this week for Destiny 2? Well at the weekly reset we got the fifth Riven's Wishes quest so next week is going to be the final one. Additionally we had a bunch of stuff going on involving the Prophecy Dungeon. Essentially Last week, in the weekly update, we learned that the Prophecy Dungeon was getting a loot refresh on March 5th. So the weapons would be getting completely different roles. In some cases, they would actually become different elements. We were getting three new weapons, but also three weapons are being taken out of the loot pool. So this week is actually your last chance to get these three weapons before they're no longer obtainable. I did a whole video on that yesterday, including the roles you're going for, how Bungie made it a last minute update to make this actually possible. Check it out, it's linked up above. But let's move on from there into the brand new information within the TWAB. So the big thing revealed today, guys, is Guardian Games. But apparently not just Guardian Games, Guardian Games All-Stars. And this is going to arrive with that upcoming Tuesday Weekly Reset. So March 5th is going to be an absolutely massive day for Destiny 2. We have a bunch of new weapons being added to the loot pools for uh, Nightfall, for uh, Iron Banner, for Trials of Osiris. Uh, then we also have the Prophecy Dungeon Refresh. And now we also have Guardian Games going live then as well. Now, Bungie released a trailer for Guardian Games, so that's going to be playing in the background, but one of the things they're introducing that you're going to notice right away is the skimmer. Bungie says, Guardians, we couldn't be more excited to introduce a totally brand new exotic vehicle category for Destiny 2. Skimmers will live in the same slot as your sparrows that can be used to do tricks, grind rails, or stylishly skim around looking incredibly cool. So obviously this is gonna be inspired uh, by the Cloud Striders on Neo Muna with the Lightfall DLC. People were asking if we could get these as well. And that's, I thought they were just basically gonna be uh, essentially sparrows recoded to make you stand on them. But if you're able to do all these different things with them, that's gonna be really cool. Now they do say the first skimmer is available to everyone during the Guardian Games All-Stars event. Just pick it up from Eva Levante after completing the onboarding uh, mission quest. If you want to keep it permanently after the event finishes, spoiler alert, you do, uh, complete the drop-in quest and the All-Star Vector will be yours forever. And there's also going to be another skimmer within Eververse and you can see that right here. So that's actually really sweet. So, moving on to more specifically how Guardian Games is going to work. Bungie says, to take part in Guardian Games, you'll need to start by greeting Abuela with Grandma Eva Levante at the tower. She will give you uh, the class item needed to enter the competition as well as a simple starting quest. This is how you earn your first medallion and unlock the next quests as well as the challenges from the event card. So, the goal of Guardian Games is simple. Your class must win the majority of days during the three week long event that can only be done by depositing a ton of medallions. Eva Levante will have a great variety of contender cards to choose from, divided between gold, platinum, and diamond, which is the new tier implemented this year. Diamond medallions awarded by these are worth a lot and can change the course of the day. So, they're limited to three a week. Two of them are focused on end game activities, one for PvE and one for PvP, and the third is kind of unique. It's a Twitch drop from watching a Destiny 2 stream for two hours during that week. Okay, very interesting. So instead of uh, just doing bronze, silver, gold, and Platinum, you now have this Diamond tier, and because it's going to give your team such a big boost, you're limited to only getting a few per week. So, the team that has players that will actually intelligently use them, use them on a day that they're losing and they need uh, this big boost, uh, that's going to be the class that comes out ahead. So, you know, kind of an interesting thing. You know, we'll see how that works out. 
But continuing, Bungie says, all medallions Guardians banked in the tower will be counted daily, and the crest of the winning class will be inserted into the tower podium for everyone to keep track of their standing. In the past Guardian games, we measured class performance based on total medallion score. Population imbalance has always been a hot issue uh, with this scoring method, and we've always weighted these in the spirit of fairness. This year, we're taking a different approach. Oh boy. Each day, class scores will be measured by the average medallion score of all players who deposited a medallion that day, separate by class of course. Our hope is that this will make your contribution feel more meaningful uh, and that the overall competition is less dependent on hard to understand population weighting or catch up mechanics. Yeah, I remember like the first year they did it, they mathematically programmed it by daily active players and titans like swept and the other two classes were you know there has to be a conspiracy no you guys just suck and then and then they change it again and another class one they change it again and another class one so we'll see how this new uh one works up out sorry now depending on your contributions to guardian games all-stars you'll also earn glows and the bragging rights that come with them. These are linked to your personal and group achievements, and we have five in total. So, one for being the best in the Tower Guardian, and another for being a member of the winning class of the day, a shoulder glow linked to your weekly performance in the Nightfall playlist, a second shoulder glow uh, for your weekly performance in the Supremacy and Gambit, and a bronze, silver, or gold glow with the shape of a laurel crown, depending on your uh, class piece, in the Friday coronation ceremony. They say, at the end of the event, the class that wins the most days will be crowned winner, and their class item will be changed to gold until the next event, to remind everyone of their victory. Not only that, but the whole year, members of the winning class can also trigger some fancy fireworks in the tower if they interact with the Guardian Games All-Star statue. Uh, the second and third place classes will see their class items changed to silver and bronze respectively, and can still enjoy uh, the fireworks when the winning class triggers them this is a friendly competition after all. All right, but moving on from there, we also have two different kind of quests going on at the same time weekly. So the first quest, which involves Zavala, is going to be diving into the Nightfall playlist, and the second quest is called Vying for Supremacy, and will pit Guardians against Guardians in Crucible and or Gambit to earn high scores. Now, getting high scores in both playlists will unlock up to four chests for each of the quests. Uh, these chests reward you with gear and materials depending on your tier uh, that you reach from bronze to platinum, oh boy, and buff your guardian so that you can shatter your own high scores with ease. Now, interestingly, there's also going to be something called a focus activity. Bungie says every few hours, one of the Guardian Games All-Stars playlists, remember Nightfall, Supremacy, or Gambit, will be the focus activity. They will be live for two hours from Monday to Thursday and for three hours from Friday to Sunday. And they are a great way to get medallions and other rewards, so it's going to give you bonuses for doing the focus activity, I guess. In fact, it unlocks up to three tiers of reward packages that go from bronze to silver to gold with better prizes for each tier. There's one more package, the Champions package, that, as you can imagine, will go to the class that dominates the focus activity by earning the highest score. And overall, my goodness, guys, there's so much going on for Guardian Games. Like, this is definitely pretty complicated, but let's move on from there and talk about just the rewards. Like, what are you going to be earning within Guardian Games? First of all, we have a brand new weapon, the Hullabaloo. This is an arc compressed wave frame heavy grenade launcher, uh, only the second wave frame grenade launcher in the entire game, and the wave frame heavy grenade launcher archetype is getting a significant buff when this all goes live on that Tuesday weekly reset, like 20% more damage, 40% more spread, it's gonna be awesome. Now, Bungie says it also has some unique perks, like Volt Shot in the third column with Chain Reaction in the fourth. I don't think we've ever had a weapon before with Volt Shot in the left column, so that's actually pretty sweet. Now, the two previous Guardian Games weapons will also have new perk pools this year. The Taraxipos, which is the Strand Lightweight Scout Rifle, will drop with new perks like Slice or Precision Instrument, while the Tidal, which is the Void Aggressive Frame Submachine Gun, has new perks, but also allows for a very exciting combo if you enjoy Void Builds, which is Repulsor Brace now in the third column 
and Surrounded. All right, that could be pretty decent. On top of these rewards, there's also the Guardian Games All-Stars Memento. You will have a chance to earn this special customization item when banking gold and platinum medallions. If you really want one, you better focus on getting those diamond medallions. Each guarantees the memento. Once you have a Guardian Games All-Stars memento in your inventory, Eva will store your extra ones until the end of the event. Just don't forget to use them before she leaves. And you can see what the memento is going to look like on a weapon right here. And that looks pretty darn sweet. Now, moving on from there, we also have the Guardian Games Cup, which is going to be a competition uh, between these different fire teams. You can sign up to participate. There's going to be rewards. And I'll just let you guys uh, read that for yourselves. It's going to be up on screen if you do want to participate. Now, moving on from there, the Witch Queen is going to arrive on PlayStation Plus. So, as long as you download it by April 2nd, you'll have access to the content to play at your leisure as a PS Plus subscriber. So, there you go. If you don't have Witch Queen and you're on PlayStation, you know, that it's an awesome, awesome expansion. And guys, that is going to be it for the video, so I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.